all packed up, ready to go. As you can see, we've got a snow. There was like 10 inches, eight, 10 inches of snow, something like that yesterday. Off to Dragon Rally. This was last year's one. Get a new badge this time. Just um, about three or four hours of riding to get to Wales. It should be fun. <laughs> Me and my mate Dave, but I've got to go and do a day's work first. End of a day at work and off to Wales. Bit different to last year. It actually is, as you can see, quite wintry. Off to the Dragon Rally. So I'm meeting my mate Dave now, who's an old mate from uni. He's also the guy that got me into uh, bikes. So of the small group of people that all share the house at university in Brighton, uh, there were probably about 10, 12, something like that, that all, that we didn't all share that house, but at different times, some of those people in there, and, or people were just sort of long-term visitors all the time. And um, of those people, uh, unfortunately three of them are no longer with us. None of them directly motorbike related losses, but um, one was a road traffic accident actually, but not motorbike. Um, well, two of them, two of them, and the one was cancer. So it's really sad, and we, this is a bit of a memorial run uh, for those people. Plus also an opportunity, obviously, to make the most of our life, because that stuff really starts to make you think how long have I got left and am I having enjoyable times? All right, so we're going into Winnett's Pass, so there's Blue John Cabin and there's Nam Tour just there. It's stunning. Oh, it's so weird, such a weird and wonderful place. The caravans, I mean, they're great, but they do get away a bit on that. right over. It was very good. A bit damp, a bit snowy in places. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, going up uh, when it's past was, um, there was a lot of snow in there. There was. But it was beautiful nonetheless. Oh, it was good. Um, it wasn't cold. Specific. Yeah, 11, no, 9 degrees, my, my, my dash was saying. What was yours saying? I, it doesn't do fancy stuff like that. <laughs> You need to get a fancy, fancy bike like a Himalayan with all the <laughs> with all the bells and whistles. Don't you? <laughs> You've got more electronics than I have. <laughs> yeah, most of them I've added on. Although that one, it comes as default, but it defaults to the temperature in Delhi. So you have to you have to move the temperature sensor away from the engine, and then you get a bit more <laughs> a bit more of a sensible reading. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a good bike, and I love it. <laughs> Chin girl. Eight. <laughs> oh, that was the I think we should call you Freya. Freya? Goddess of that passion, that love, sex, and something. The goddess of cherry. My daughter's with a lady. How is it? Okay. With a J or without a J? Yeah. No, what? Astrid, goddess of fermented cherries, fermented cherries, and blonde chinian hair. Oh, yeah, I understand. Jeff, will you come and eat with me, please? Uh, if I'm up, I'm going to go to bed. Yes. We're going to meet here at five yes. to nine, and I'm uh, whatever happens. Sorry, sorry. Okay. However many people there are here. I'm going to go to that. We're going to go to Blob's Cafe. We're going to, yeah, I'm cafe. Going, I'm going to go to that Blob's Cafe. I am a lean beam. <laughs> <laughs> lean, mean bullshit machine. <laughs> and I'm going to go to bed now okay. because I'm tired. Right. And I can't do it as well Are as I you used to. So, here's Dave, here's oh. me, gay couple. 
in the matching tops. Uh, Colwyn Bay just been for breakfast, getting ready for Dragon Rally, and uh, just spent the night at the gloriousness of Travel Lodge, Colwyn Bay. And uh, we're just going to get our bikes ready, head off to the secret location, and find out where we where, where we're going to spend the night tonight. As a gay couple. <laughs> So a fun night was had last night. Um, just talking to the lady at the reception in the um, in the travel lodge there. She was saying that uh, one of the guys after last night's drinky poos was barely alive. She nearly had to move him out in the in the truck. Back to the bikes and then off to um, Con Con with her Con we motorbike club to find out where the heck we're staying tonight. They all left without us. Yeah, good time. Yeah. Oh, and now I think I actually put them in the right pocket. The one that I always put my keys in. There oh. we go. Wow, they're where they should be. I lost the last one. Look, I, I would never have got that. This does something really weird, which I it took me a little while to get used to. Which is when it hits the reserve, the uh, odometer goes to zero and starts counting upwards. What? Why? What use is that? I think I think you're meant to get used to how many miles you're likely to do oh. before it runs out. And so when it hits that, I know I've probably got 50. But I hit 50 once and I ran out. <laughs> I was in the... It does depend a lot on driving stuff that day. I was somewhere in Scotland. Um, it was getting pretty close to zero. Stopped, went to a metro station, that wasn't the sat down, and it was shut. As in permanently shut. Yeah. Oh dear. So, okay, where's the next one? Well, I'm showing zero miles now. The next one was like 17 miles away. And it was Scotland because there were hills. But I made it. <laughs> my my favourite personal example of that. Uh, running out fuel. I was in the Fiesta and I was on the opposite bypass and I knew I was really low and I thought I'll pull off at the next exit and find petrol and I knew I was really low and literally the exit came to the side number 321 I got to about the number 3 yeah. and ran out of fuel Ooh, so I rolled to the exit down the exit ramp roundabout at the bottom no cars were coming so I rolled onto the roundabout into the petrol station oh. onto the pump <laughs> wow <laughs> oh, that's awesome and of course nobody saw it so nobody knows oh. but it, that was perfect. It was, it was absolutely brilliant. It was like, that's one thing that I wish I'd had video of. And the other one was when I was running, I was with my sister in the Alps. And I was running down a hill with 18 kilos on my back, all my camping gear. I was running down this that hill. Doesn't seem like a good idea. And, and it was steep. Yeah. And I, I tripped and pitched into the air. And so I'm, I don't know how, what made me react like this, but I tucked, rolled over, landed on my backpack, rolled onto my feet and carried on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's like, oh, if only there'd been a video of that. Yeah. Cowan Bay, it's been beautiful. It must do it again sometime. I believe it's such a lovely day as well. Sun is out, sky is blue. Going through a tunnel. Uh, 20 miles an hour Wales. And I'm going to get sore neck with all this nod in my head at all the other bikes. Yeah, yeah. C C90. 
How are you? I had it down. I brought it down last year, but didn't bother this year. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely on my list of bikes I'd like to own, as is one of those, but I won't own all the bikes I'd like to They're own. They're very collectible now. Mine's are they? A, mine's a K93. Right, wow. I've had it 16 years. It's only done 11,000. Right. I was talking to one guy this morning over there. He's gone now. He's got one. It's a J Reg. Yeah. He's done 47,000 miles. Wow. 47,000 miles with 11. Yeah. yeah. The last one he heard that he'd only done 11. Right? He's obviously got around a bit on it then. Yeah. It was, he said it was 4,000 miles when he bought it. And it's 47 now. In how long? I think 10 years. He right. said he had it. That's good going. He was doing 6,000 a year or something on it. Yeah, yeah. They're news to them. Yeah, yeah. Serious bikers. Yeah. Oh, this is just great, isn't it? Yeah. And I wander around, have a look. Boom, 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 boom. idea what my number is. <laughs> that thing keeps falling down, it's really annoying. go that way this is like uh, find some high ground that way but that way seems to be drier right okay, okay. thank you home for the night <laughs> so uh what was the forecast today what, what weather were we forecast today mm. dry and sunny oh were we okay we got it good nice i'm gonna just show you the size of the campsite it's huge and full of cow footprints <laughs> this is a bit squelchy. It's fine. Fine, he says. Fine. Sorry, I didn't get to help. <laughs> well then, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's a good groove. It is. It's a bit of the snake still here. That'll do, mate. There we go. Thank you. I thoroughly recommend parking on the verge there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful van van. Biker dreams. <laughs> My other bike's van van. I love them. Look at that. It's so clean. And he's been here a few times. 57, 58, 59 and 60. Dragon rallies. Very good. Hello. Tim. Hello. <laughs> You're getting my ditch. You're up there somewhere. Hang on. Tip, your, tip your angle of dangle. No, it doesn't matter. It's a 360 one. Oh, it's one of those. It has many angles of dangles. Let's have a look at your stickers. All the way down there. Where, where have you taken it? Um, well, that's the, the main journey I've done with it. It was called William last year. Right. Uh, Arden American. Oh, of nice. The Strontian Wildcat Rally. Rah. Oh. I've never heard of that. It's in April. I booked to go again this year, it's all good. They're great little things. Every what, home what, should have one. How long you had it? Uh, about two years. And and how much did it set you back? Well, I paid 400 quid for it, but it's, they're a lot more than that. Yeah, they are. Do you think he's at the Dragon Rally? <laughs> what are the choices? Tomato and Basil, or what's the other one? Uh, oh. Chicken and Stilton. Chicken and Stilton. Yeah, we are so goody goody go. You're on the goody list, not the naughty list. Yeah. I'm on the list. I'm the bucket. I've lost my ticket. Can I do anything about that? He's number no, six, seven, eight. Sorry. Unfortunately, we can't. Yeah. No worries. You've missed all of my amazing. Oh, you didn't do that. List. The Jay done all that. <laughs> Prove it. That's my idea. But this is a really knotty bit. Is that right? It's a knotty bit. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, it's knotty but nice. Glancing blow. Yeah, but I've got some bits. <laughs> Yeah, that was just anger, Charlie. <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> Very good. You press the button this time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 
You got the magic button. Try again, Tim. We're on our way from Misery's <laughs> Happiness today. Uh, well, we're going for a pint down the pub. Um, rugby's on. Some couple of foreign countries that are playing England and Wales. Um, <laughs> We're in Wales, you know, don't say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the heart of any rally, follow the density of beers. They're getting more dense, we're getting closer. Ah, the heart of the rally. Dave! Cheers. Awesome, thank you, cheers. Tell me about your stove, Chris. My stove? So, this is a cheap AliExpress special, uh, which I think was about 150 quid compared to something that you know, like a pomoli or something like that that costs about £300. And at the end of the day, it's the same frigging thing. Um, a lot of people are complaining, oh, there's gaps in it and stuff, you're going to poison yourself and that, but considering that all smoke gets drawn out of the flue and oxygen gets drawn in through the smaller gaps, I don't see how. Regardless, I've got carbon monoxide alarm just in case and I'm cooking steak so nice you know uh, yeah what do you think of it do you, do you fancy I think it's it great. I would I go for it myself well the thing is, you've not stuck your head in here yet I know I'm impressed heat. I'm impressed with your sleeping mat your whole setup's good well, stick good, your yeah. stick your head in here and feel the heat difference oh, I mean that's running quite cool at the minute it's oh yeah I've damped it down on that so it's it's really and, and steak smelling exactly <laughs> Right, people, it's the morning, it's Dragon Rally. We survived. <laughs> just, just about, yeah. I'm hurting a bit this morning. Achy. You and your German friends. Well, the one who jumped on me. I mean, not in a good way. Mm. <laughs> Stage time, get off with your <laughs> wet willies. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I prefer my willy dry in the morning. Got to get the last one in before I see, don't see you for a while, don't I? <laughs> uh, Matt, tell me what are you eating. Uh, I'm trying to fry an egg, but everyone else has went great. Mine's gone to shit. <laughs> I think I didn't press record. Oh, I had its little red light yeah. on. I did it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was flashing though. Ooh, uh, I didn't press record. Did you not? You're very good at it. The weather there was lovely. Yeah. Well, we all, all the important stuff gets missed. Yeah, I actually right, have right, a really right. good life, but all I yeah, show on YouTube is the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, people, I'm going to uh, go and load my bike and then off. And uh, nice. you're coming back next year. Happy trail. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> I can't plan that far ahead. See how you hit from your dad dancing does first. Yeah, my dad dancing. Solid two, three hours of dad dancing. When he gets out of his dungeon <laughs> in Germany. Sorry? When you get out of the German dungeon. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, see ya. Right, so that was the Dragon Rally. It's been, it's been a lot of fun actually. Uh, last night was a bit wild. Uh, just in terms of, I, I don't know why I get bored easily and do silly things like mosh for three hours straight, two or three hours straight. Um, people were coming in on that this morning. Uh. Oh, 
are nearly home, just the other side of that hill. My pleasure.